national ability to establish, maintain, and restore health. With proper knowledge and application, uh, alternative medicine can be a great complement to prevent and help treat disease. Uh, tonight we talked about CAM, which stands for Complementary and Alternative Medicine. Alternative medicine is defined as any practice of medicine that doesn't fall in the um, realm of conventional Western medicine. Um, and complementary medicine is alternative medicine used in conjunction with the traditional Western medicine. So it doesn't have to be either or, it can be a combination of the two. Um, alternative medicine has no. been practiced for thousands of years all throughout history. In the early 1900s, naturopathic medicine, which is natural medicine, was the commonly accepted way to treat people with medical problems. Um, eventually, as technology progressed, doctors started to discard the old, true and tested natural methods of healing and replaced it almost solely with surgery and drugs. Up until recently, and now there's, we're seeing a big rise of patients who are going back to alternative medicine and looking for the benefits of that. Um, it seems to be a more health conscious generation, just like the people who are uh, focused on being eco-friendly and green and environmentally conscious, just like that, people are more and more looking towards alternative drugs and alternative therapies that aren't as harsh or invasive as typically used. Um, society today tends to look for shortcuts and easy fixes and everybody wants the cure-all pill and you see that with infomercials and endless drug ads on TV and um, you see sleeping pills to help people go to sleep and pills to help people wake up and energy pills and diet pills and stuff to grow your hair back and I mean it seems like there's a pill these days for everything. Um, you can even walk into a um, cosmetic surgeon's office and a couple hours later have had 20 pounds liposuctioned off your hips and butt. But the problem with that is if you on your way home drive through McDonald's and get a value meal you're probably not going to see lasting results. Um, a lot of the prescribed medications these days come with serious side effects and I found this cartoon and I thought it was really funny. <laughs> Um, we've all seen the ads that talk about, um, I saw an ad on TV the other day for a new migraine headache medicine. said, warning risks include um, nausea, headaches, blindness, loss of appetite, um, and kidney failure. I'm thinking, okay, at what point are the risks that you're taking, taking a lot of these new medications, worth the benefit? Um, so more and more we just need to be careful and really research and look at what we're taking and the medical treatments that are available. Um, and more and more this is becoming a very current issue um, in society and um, matter of fact I was online last week and I was um, went on mayoclinic.com and I don't know if you guys have ever been on there. There's lots of websites that are um, Medical communities, you can go on and search for illnesses or diseases, and it will tell you descriptions of the disease and side effects and symptoms and the conventional way to treat it. Well, now they even have a tab where you can look at alternative medicine therapies for all of the illnesses and diseases. So more and more, you're seeing more of this, and it's becoming very common. Um, I picked up this publication of Prevention Magazine a few weeks ago, and um, their big article in it is Doctor Approved Natural Cures. And so this publication is the cutting edge current uh, medical procedures, medical um, discoveries, and they're already going back and talking about, okay, what are the natural cures, what are the natural ways to do things? And I wanted to read you guys a quote that I got out of an article in Prevention Magazine, and it says, as patients' use of CAM intensifies and research increasingly provides strong support for some treatments, many highly respected, conventionally trained doctors are venturing into this arena. These doctors aren't abandoning what they learned in medical school. They simply recognize that healing that unites the best of all techniques represents the wave of the future. So it used to be an either-or philosophy. Um, you were either lined up with traditional Western medicine, or you were kind of out in left field as kind of the quack who was against Western medicine. And it's just not like that anymore. You don't have to pick a side. They're really starting to integrate and work together. Um, 
One of the ways that um, they're doing that is through herbal supplements and medication. Um, herbal supplements are products that um, are dietary supplements that people take to improve their health or to make up for um, vitamins and minerals they're missing in their diet. Um, some people argue that herbal medicines are not effective, and I would argue that that's not true. The problem is that the herbal medications are not regulated by the FDA, like prescription medications are. So there's not as strict of guidelines and rules and regulations on them, and the shelves are just overloaded with them, and people are buying them and using them without proper knowledge or application. And um, you know, if you go to any grocery store or Walmart, there's just walls of it, and there's no guidance being given to people on how to use them properly and in what amounts. And um, used with the proper knowledge, they can be very, very beneficial. Um, I've also heard the argument that people complain that they're not effective, that they take them for a certain ailment and they don't work. Well, people expect them to be a cure-all, and they just don't compensate for neglect of health in other areas. Um, for example, if you don't exercise, and you eat fast food, and you're not healthy, and you drink a lot, and you're a heavy smoker, you can't take a multivitamin and expect to feel wonderful. Um, it's there to be used in conjunction with other healthy lifestyle choices. Um, common herbal medicines are peppermint and um, ginger are used to aid in indigestion, upset stomach, and echinacea has been shown to um, shorten the symptoms seen in colds and flus with sore throat, fever, and cough. And ginkgo globa has been proven to aid in circulatory disorders and enhance memory. <coughs> uh, another common therapy used with alternative medicine is acupuncture. And um, let's see some herbal medicines and acupuncture. Mm. Acupuncture is a very common practice that dates back thousands of years. It's actually among the oldest healing practices known in the world. Um, involves the stimulation of different anatomical points um, using various techniques, as you can see. There's one on the board. Um, a survey that was done in 2007 estimated that over 3.1 million Americans had used acupuncture the year before. So it is actually very common and is used to treat um, headaches, backaches, migraines, and just general pain and arthritis. In addition to supplements and Therapies like acupuncture, CAM in general just recommends a healthy lifestyle. And this includes exercise, um, nutrition, and diet play huge roles, a lot more than people think. Um, you know, when they get sick, they just want antibiotics as opposed to thinking about, you know, what, what is my diet like and what does it consist of? Am I getting adequate nutrition and um, cutting back on the things I shouldn't be eating? So exercise, diet, and nutrition, and just in general people that are really stressed out and lack of sleep can cause the immune system uh, to get lower and can cause disease and illness to occur. So to sum it up more and more, patients are looking towards the benefits of CAM. They want something new. They're tired of um, the same old side effects of invasive procedures and um, chemical medications and drugs. Um, they're very health conscious, and in conjunction with the physician's guidance and the proper knowledge, CAM can be a great way to approach your health goals. And I would just encourage everybody to be their own health advocate and inform yourself and know what's out there and know your options. Thank you. Thank you.